Hey guys, um, I know some of you aren't going to be able to count M&Ms uh, for the activity. And so I've enlisted a trusty counter for us to do some data collection for us. So yep. here's Sean. Hello. Sean is my son and he's in second grade. Yes. And he's going to count M&Ms for you. So and eat them after. And eat them after. <laughs> so he's going to go ahead and open up his three packs of M&Ms. Eating M&Ms is the best part. Okay, yellow, yellow, yellow. And he has one of these sheets, which you can get from my door, or you can print out from the Google Sheet, the one that I call the Stat 190 Doodle page has it on there. So there's one pack. So far, so good. Is it too hard yet? Mm -hmm. You're not overwhelmed with how challenging this assignment is. This isn't that challenging. It's not. No. He's got to put the m ms in the categories. Yeah. So he's putting them into categories. Like a superstar. Awesome. And then a third pack. So how many different colors are there of m ms done? Um, seven. Try again. Oh, six. Six. Oh. You counted the bottom row, the two. That's why. Huh? You counted the bottom. That was one, um, two, three, four, five, six. Oh. Okay. So it's six. Oh. Okay. Back to work. That's the red one there. I have two groups. Mm hmm. Of the same color. Oh, that's why you thought there were seven. No, I just. Oh, okay. 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 So why don't you count brown first? Because that's the first color on our list. Um, Those this, are red. This is red. It looks more like black. It does in the slide. So four. Four. Okay. So he's going to write a four down on the sheet. Four. How many yellow? Um, let's see. Eight. Eight, okay. How many red? One, two, three, four, five, six, eight. Eight. How many blue? A lot. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Fourteen. <coughs> How many orange? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And how many green? Four. Four. Okay, now the tricky question is, how many M&Ms do we have all together? Well, let's see. So we've got eight plus eight, so 16. Uh-huh. Plus four. So 20. Uh-huh. And then plus 10. 10. Plus 14. Wait. Okay, so we got. For, I forgot the number. Eight, eight. Eight so plus eight. 16. 16, and four is. So we have 30. So right so now. 30 right now, that's right. 30, 34. Yeah. 44, 48. 48. Awesome. So you have 48 MMs. Mm -hmm. Awesome. So that is what you guys have to do for your assignment. So if you didn't get M&Ms yourself, you can look at his numbers. I'll put a picture of this up on the web page. But four brown, eight yellow, eight red, 14 blue, 10 orange, four green, which is 48 total M&Ms. Not anymore. Not anymore because <laughs> he's already starting to eat them. So there you go. And that's how you can do this yeah, assignment. Well, so now go back to the other video and it will show you how to do the calculations and how to interpret the okay. results and the question of whether the M&Ms follow the distribution. We're that we 46 have. now. 46 now. Uh oh, I better turn the video <laughs> off or their data is going to be totally wrong. No, that's not true. You can use the numbers. Okay, there you go. 45.